Extreme 3D Nike Shoe Just Do It Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you an extreme 3D Nike shoe that looks like it's mid-step, kind of like it just walked right off of a Nike sign or a poster or billboard. And it's got the Nike swoosh on the side of the shoe and it's all neon and bright. I love this. I also wrote the words just do it on it because I feel like that applies to so many things besides athletic activities like Nike's intending, but just life in general. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. Begin with an overlay of a neon coral acrylic. So whatever color you use for the background, try to match that color in the design of the shoe or at least make it so it's complementary. And when you're choosing the design for your shoe, you can match a pair of shoes that you own or a pair of shoes that you just really like the looks of aesthetically, which is what I did. I just searched Nike shoes and I scrolled for a while until I found a pair. I was like, ooh, that would be the right kind for the design. So that's completely up to you. But then I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that the nail is nice and strong and just kind of gives a floating effect which is really hard to see on the video but anytime a nail has a clear acrylic layer over the top of it it creates this little floaty layer is what I like to think of it as so the 3d art looks almost like it's above the rest of the nail because it's got that clear layer underneath it but then I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file starting out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk and then using a finer bit to smooth the whole thing out now on a nail form backing, I'm going to begin sculpting the base shape of my shoe. And so the reason I say the base shape is this isn't the final shape. You don't have to worry too much if it's the right thickness or if it's too thick or, you know, whatever it is. But you're trying to get the perimeter of the shape of the nail. But the same thing, if it's not perfect, don't sweat it. So just get that first layer of acrylic down and form it into the rough shape of a shoe Kind of tuck it in on the one side for where the arch of the foot is just kind of work on it it's very awkward to be doing this because you're not working on top of a foot and you have to think of the way a shoe looks from all different angles take the tip of your brush and sort of carve in for where the where your foot goes in for the opening in the shoe and keep working on it and once that acrylic starts to seem like it's going to set bend the nail form backing into shape so that it gives you almost the look of what a shoe would look like if you were mid-step. And then build up the shape of the shoe with more black acrylic. You may want to sculpt it bulkier if you have an e-file. This is a design that I would highly recommend working with an e-file with. A lot of designs you don't need it. It's just personal preference to make things easier. But with a design like this and any of the shoe designs I've done in the past, I would always say if you have an e-file now's the time to bring that baby out because there's just so many fine details that you can carve in with an e-file that would just be too much to try to do with just your brush and to sculpt them. Now if you are a wizard with acrylic and you're like, hey, I got this, I don't need to worry about no stinking e-file, congratulations, you're amazing because I think an e-file is necessary. So after you have your shoe shape pretty much what you consider finished, then I'm going to start carving out the shape of the shoe with the e-file like I mentioned. So this is a very fine under the nail cleaner bit. And I'm just going to go through and fix it up. And I know that it looks so weird because I'm just working on a black shoe and it's hard to tell on the video the different curvatures. But to have pictures of a shoe or even better, if you have a tennis shoe next to you that you can look at, bring that out. Use that and just carve in the shape as best as you can. And sort of just work on it and look at it from all different angles. This is a 360 design is what I like to think of it as. So you want to look at it from every single angle. You can also use a hand file if that helps you to sort of smooth out the shape, dust it often. And then when you're happy with it, after you've got it all carved into, into the right shape, then you're going to take some white acrylic and add the sole of the shoe. So if you have a different color pattern on your shoes, definitely switch it up to match what you're going for. For this one, I have a nice bright white sole. You want the sole typically is going to be a little bit thicker at the heel of the shoe and narrower or thinner at the toe. So fill that in. Try not to get rid of the general shape of that foot movement. So you wanna have the shoe look like it's mid-step. If you look at a Nike poster, where they have the just do it written out, you notice that a lot of times it's a shoe that looks like it's mid-step, which is why I went with what I with what I did. So add the, a little bit more to the ball of the foot, smooth it out. If the acrylic doesn't look perfect, that's okay. You can fix it up with paint as far as the line between the black and the white. 
try to get it as smooth as you can. A little 3D sculpting brush that is more precise might help you out to smoothing out that line. Same thing though, look at it from all angles to make sure that you have it right. Bring a little bit more of the sole color of the shoe up the toe and work on it on the other side as well. You get it like that. Once you're happy with the shape of this shoe, then you can attach it to the nail. I would start by placing one dot of glue right where you want the shoe to be, picking up the shoe, placing it down, holding it in place until that glue grabs. And when I say grabs, you can feel it. Like you can feel it when the glue is like, all right, I'm holding on now, you can let go. And then take some clear acrylic and fill in underneath the little transition between shoe to nail so that you don't have to rely on that glue. It just makes it a little bit more secure. Then with black paint, right, just do it on the shoe. So I thought of this design before I started NTNA, but after I knew I was in the top 12. And I started it because I had this moment of, I'm so glad I did this. I did something I might not have done before and I was forced into it. <laughs> no, not really, but kind of. I mean, I had um, clients and my family that were like, just do it already because I, you know, ham hawed around. Am I going to enter NTNA? Am I not? You know, and they told me just do it. And I was so grateful for that. So I thought I would do a design and I would kind of steal Nike's thunder and I would make a just do it nail. And so I did it. I'm happy with both the nail and my NTNA experience. So I'm glad I just did it and I wanted to encourage anybody else if there's anything like that that they're thinking of doing in their life, whether it's nail art related or something else, just do it. You'll be grateful that you did because even if it doesn't go as planned, it's still something that you can say you did and you don't ever have that questioning in your mind. So after you have your letters all finished there, do a very thin white line inside of them. And then we're going to be adding all of our details to the shoe. And this is where your design can kind of become personalized and take off is because you can design this shoe however you want. Same thing, it can be an existing Nike that you saw online or a pair that you have or just a shoe design that you think would be amazing. But the one thing you can't forget in a Nike shoe design is the Nike logo. So some Nikes just have the logo that's kind of like a different, like shiny versus matte. And that's the way it shows up. And that is just fine. I want it to really have the Nike swoosh. So I did it with a gray color. But now I'm going to take some bright colors of gel polish. I have a green, a blue, and a coral color that matches the nail. And I'm going to be adding some more details to the shoe, some really neon stuff. I'm a neon person, so most of the time my tennis shoes are fairly bright in some aspect or another you know the pair that i have at the moment are gray with like a bright bright orange accent on them but i didn't want them to be i don't know, i want something a little more flashy than that so for this nail i went bright colors all the way so i've got a little bit of coral blended down the sole of the shoe which i actually see a lot in nikes recently as they have kind of like a gradient on the sole so that's what I did with that. So I put a little bit of that coral color on the heel and on the toe. And having that white base of acrylic underneath it makes those bright colors even brighter. And then using the same bright green that I put on the shoe, I'm going to be covering the white lines of the Just Do It. So the white lines really help that green show up as being really bright. You could skip that if you wanted to, but it just makes the design a little bit more vibrant. So just cover up those white lines with the thinnest little bits of green, just like so. And I'm going to be applying a layer of matte gel top coat over the background, over the Just Do It, cure that, and then some gel sealer over the shoe. So I wanted my shoe to have kind of a realistic sheen to it. And some, I mean, it depends on the tennis shoe, but there's all different textures that can be on them. And I wanted to use a couple. So I did glossy top coat over the whole shoe. And then with some matte gel top coat on a little brush, I just kind of highlighted details of the shoe. So I went over the toe of the shoe kind of right up and curled around the laces just to add some of that matte look. And then you can also use that matte top coat to almost highlight anything you want. So I'm also going to go over a little bit on the Nike swoosh. And that is it. I love this nail. I think it's hilarious. I love any shoe design. I have a bunch of them and I'll put some links to them in the description box below if you guys are like me and a shoe fanatic and want to see more shoes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it too. Take me in any recreations on Facebook or Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye!